Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making pan grilled chicken with a plum salsa. Alright guys, I'm starting out here in a bowl. We're going to make our plum salsa. I'm starting out here. I have two plums that I diced up. I have two tablespoons of fresh basil I diced up. About a quarter of a red onion I diced up. And one jalapeno pepper I seeded and diced up. This is all going to go in a bowl. And this is going to make a salsa that's sweet with a touch of heat. Okay. Now I'm going to add in a shot of salt, a little less than a quarter of a teaspoon, and I'm going to put in about two tablespoons of lime juice, and I'm just eyeballing this, guys. If you go over here, it's no big deal. Okay, that's about right. I'm going to blend this, stir it and blend it well together, and we're just going to set this aside for now and let these flavors marry in there and... Uh, let everybody get to know each other on a first name basis. All right, now we're going to make the rub for on our chicken. I have four tablespoons of brown sugar there. I'm going to add in a teaspoon of ground cumin. And I'm just eyeballing that. And I'm going to put in a shot of salt. Not even a quarter of a teaspoon. I'm going to go ahead and mix this together. And I'm going to use my grill plate to my Copper Chef Wonder Cooker to do the chicken on. I'm breaking up my lumps of the brown sugar. And you just want to blend it together well. There's a hard piece of brown sugar. We'll get that out of there. And I have three boneless, skinless chicken breasts here that I cut in half. We're going to serve them and make six servings of that because a whole chicken breast is an awful lot of chicken for one person to eat. Okay, now that my griddle pan is nice and hot, I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil on it. And this here will help put a nice brown on that chicken. And I'm going to take my chicken and I'm going to dip it in that brown sugar rub that we made. Coating it. And I'm going to shake off the excess. I'm doing this off camera, guys. I'm sorry about that. but And I'm going to lay my chicken on the grill pan. And I'm going to grill this for about three minutes per side. That should be long enough, maybe four minutes, to cook this chicken. It's not very thick. Alright guys, my chicken's all done grilling. Let's go ahead and fix up a plate and see what we got. Alright guys, let me get in there and give that chicken a try. As you can see, I topped it with some of that plum salsa. And my Noel, which is going nuts over here. The chicken's nice and tender. It's cooked through. Let me give her a taste. That's really good. The chicken's really juicy, tender. You get the sweet from the plum, yet the heat from the jalapeno. That's really good, guys. All right, there you have it. Grilled pan chicken with plum salsa. Give it a try. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see you.